They're in the gate. Haynes Fields, the skittish one. Haynesfield broke through the starting gate here. Oh, and a terrific job there by the assistant starter. This is almost mindful of a, a Whitney, oh, some 40 years ago when Fiorito broke through the starting gate and the assistant starter, Jimmy Cizaragas, in fact, held on, saved the day, and Fiorito wound up winning. So with the help of an able-bodied assistant starter, Haynesfield goes back in the line. They're in the gate. And they're off, and Haynesfield broke on top. And Quality Road moves with him, and Musket Man forwardly placed as they race for the clubhouse turn. They're three abreast. Quality Road and Hainesfield and Musket Man there to their outside. And Blame's got a beautiful spot early on. Tucking in behind the lead down inside. He's running along in fourth. Then long shot Jardim is fifth. And the Derby winner, mind that bird. Calvin Burrell just lets him lope along in the early stages here of the Whitney. 24 and 2 is the opening quarter mile. So it's Quality Road hounded there by Musket Man on the outside. Hainesfield's a little keen today. Hainesfield now comes up in third position just in behind the lead as Ramon Dominguez tries to settle him down. Two and a half lengths back, and Blame is just four and a half lengths away from the front running favorite here, Quality Road. The half mile, 48 seconds flat. That's a walk in the park for Quality Road. Quality Bro just breezing along through easy fractions here. Musket Man doesn't have the speed to stay with him at this juncture with a half mile to go. Haynesfield following Quality Road into the far turn. And now Blame is shaken up there by Garrett Goma as he's still four and a half lengths behind. A break of six back to Jardim. And mind that bird is better than a dozen from the lead around the far turn. Quality Road bracing for the challenges to come. Here's Musket Man, Haynesfield. Still running in third. Blame's getting closer now. He switched outside. The field turns for home with Quality Road to catch. Top of the stretch. Quality Road leads by a length and a half. Musket Man is second. Here comes Blame with that stretch run of his on the outside. Blame is coming hard at Quality Road. Quality Road is digging down deep. Blame is coming at him with a menacing run. Quality Road and Blame, a photo finish that Blame got. Blame got it by a nostril in the very last moment to defeat Quality Road. Photo finish, hold all tickets. Number two, Blame was first. Three, Quality Road second. Six, Musket Man third. And four, Hainesfield was fourth. Results not official, two, three, six, four.
results on the 10th race official. In the winner's circle is Blame. Owned by Adele Dolschneider and uh, Claiborne Farm. Trained by Albert Stahl Jr. Ridden by Gary Gomez. Blame's a four-year-old son of Arch from Liable by Seeking the Gold. Time was 148 and four. The double three and two, ninety-six dollars fifty cents. The pick three, five three and two, one thousand two dollars. Two three exact, eighteen dollars twenty cents. In fact, at two three and six, thirty-seven dollars eighty cents. The grand slam, one hundred twenty-eight dollars fifty cents. Winner circle, the trophy presentation for the 83rd running of the Whitney is being made by Mary Lou Whitney. <laughs> 